Hi, I'm Adam Drake from Mugen CT Racing. Today I'm gonna to show you how I bleed the shocks on my Mugen vehicles. So I've already taken the shocks, filled them up with Mugen oil, um, pumped the shock a few times, and then let them sit for about five minutes so that all the air bubbles can settle and come to the top. So basically you just take your shock. I like to bleed the shocks with no shock boot. Um, by doing so, you can compress the shaft all the way to the top. It's easier to get consistent rebound, um, and then I'll just unscrew the end, throw the boot on when I'm done. So basically, just take the shock cap, screw it onto the body, and I always like to take the shock cap where the bleeder hole is, have that towards the top, hold the shock at about a 45 degree angle until you just feel the shock body start to touch the bladder. So once you feel just that little bit of resistance, I'll take an Allen wrench, put it through the cap, and then slowly compress the shaft all the way to the top. And now with holding the shaft all the way compressed, I'll just slowly turn the shock body so that it gets tighter into the cap and compresses the bladder. Once it gets fairly tight, I'll back it off about a half a turn and then tighten it again. And I'll do that one more time just to bleed any excess oil. And then you can go ahead and crank the body down tight. From there, you just wipe off the excess oil. And then you'll just take the shock, pump it a couple times to make sure you have no air. And that's how I build the shocks on my Mugen vehicles.